back to another travel vlog. My friend Phoebe and I went to Arizona for the first time a few weeks ago. So today we are going to recap our desert adventure. If you've never been to Arizona and you wonder what it feels like to be up in the air on a hot air balloon ride, enjoy a 360 degree desert view, or stay at a photogenic resort, or just enjoy a local food and wine adventure exclusively in Arizona. Just keep on watching and let's get started. On the first day, we flew from LAX to Phoenix Airport. Yeah. But we got to Phoenix! Yes. After the touchdown, we went straight to our resort, the Scott's Resort and Spa. The whole resort felt like an island vacation. We saw luscious green plants everywhere. The natural light made every corner a perfect backdrop for photos. I like how they mix the Cuban-inspired natural materials like rotund lights, chairs, tropical leaves with mid-century pieces, which made the space modern, zen, and therapeutic. There were cute and private areas where you can chill without being disturbed, like the lounge area by the water with relaxing water sound, the cozy fire pit area, or a rotund swing chair where you can read a book. We finally got into our room! And let me give you a quick room tour. After we freshen up, we were ready for the hot air balloon adventure. We have that our first balloon. stranger, Ty. Ty is our guide today. This was our first hot air balloon experience, so we didn't know what to expect. After we arrived, we waited for about 30 minutes for the balloon to be inflated. Meanwhile, the instructor went over things we needed to know. I thought it would be super windy up there, so I was debating if I should take my hat. It turned out super calm and peaceful in the sky. I barely felt that we were moving. The only sound we heard was our conversation and the sound of the burner on the top of my head. I have to say this view was stunning and magical. We got to capture the beautiful valley and the desert light beneath us, which was so crazy. We even spotted some wildlife on the ground. Looking down was a little too scary, so I tried to stare at a horizontal line most of the time. After we landed, a table of fruit and dessert was set up for us to enjoy. We cheered with champagne and chatted with the new friends we just met. The desert sunset was so gorgeous, and we were so lucky to enjoy this moment on our first day in Arizona. This is the iconic Arizona view right here. In the evening, we had dinner at a resort restaurant, the Canal Club. So after that crazy balloon ride, actually we had a lot of fun. It's just a, oh, okay, okay. a very different um, experience. That we got back to the hotel and just freshened up a little bit. And now we are at their restaurant called the Canal Club. Waiting for our dinner, very excited. We ordered some seafood dishes and it should be good. I'm so hungry. I forgot to mention how cute the resort looked at night. The soft lights and the plants made the whole space so cozy and relaxing. Hello guys, day two in Arizona. Phoebe and I, we are going to a botanical garden. Well, after that, we are going to have lunch inside the garden. After that, we are going to a winery, do some wine tasting. It was an interesting experience because I never seen so many different kind of cacti in one place. Some are gigantic like a big tree and some are tiny with funny shapes. You might step on some pricks that fall to the ground, so make sure you wear clothes shoes if you come here.
Our second location of the day is called Merkin Vineyard and we are coming here for a wine tasting. It's actually behind me and this place is actually owned by a rock star called Tommy Lee. The whole vibe of this vineyard is very different. Unlike the traditional wine tasting room, it's very cool because he plays the rock music and also their decor and you'll see in a minute and that's us go check it out. We met with our PR Sarah from Visit Phoenix over lunch. This place is all about a 100% Arizona experience, meaning the fruits, vegetable, and wine are all grown and sourced locally. Their mission is sustainability and supporting local community. If you like to taste some local wine, don't forget to stop by their tasting room when you visit Arizona. After wine tasting, we had a hearty dinner at Postino, a hip and modern restaurant in town, where you can find a cool vibe, delicious wine, and amazing brisket at boards. This no. place is super no. cute. The princess, we just got our dinner. Very excited to try. This was my first time trying bruschetta board and my favorite flavors were the artichoke spray and spree with apple and fig combo. Just like Sarah said, we need some bread to soak up the wine we just drank. What a smart idea. I also like the match wall they had in the restaurant where you can find over 7,000 match boxes with different designs which was so cool to look at. The last day, we just wanted to take it easy before we left this beautiful place. So after we woke up, we had a chill brunch by the pool. If you love brunch, I highly recommend their brunch menu from the resort kitchen. So we finished some shots inside the resort and now can finally eat. We ordered the food around 8 a.m. and we, we didn't eat it till right now. The cabana by the pool was one of my favorite spots in the resort because it's such a perfect place to relax and it's super cute. We are about to go to lunch. So sad we are leaving today. Such a cute place. I know. We'll be back. We'll be back for sure. Sarah said Hash Kitchen is one of the most popular brunch spots in Phoenix because of their great food and vibe. We are having a perfect brunch right here. Look at all the food we are eating now. Hash hash donut. My goodness. After a three-day trip, we really needed some pampering to relax our body and mind. So we booked a spa session at a resort in the afternoon. Phoebe got a facial appointment and I booked a massage. The spa environment was very relaxing and clean and the welcoming staff made our experience even more pleasant. I got a good one hour body massage and I feel so refreshed after the session. Our trip has finally come to the end so it was so quick yeah too short too short yeah. very too short what's your favorite part about this trip the um, food the, oh my gosh the food is phenomenal i never expected i would like food in phoenix, phoenix. so much yeah. everything was so i think the amazing. variety really surprised us yeah because every meal we ate they were very different yeah and then we like okay. literally like everything we had it was so good and then the people we met and I think both of us we felt like it, it was the people that we met yeah. so we were kind of really lucky that our PR lady Sarah yeah. she is amazing she, she planned the whole trip such a great planner mm -hmm. I think also because we gave ourselves the challenge of meeting a stranger a day so we kind of like for looking stuff. for strangers to talk to mm -hmm. and made us even more open that way because I feel like I'm more open when I'm like all the country not necessarily in the states yeah. because I feel like I, I know your culture yeah. mm -hmm. you'd be surprised there's so many people who have stories that we will really share with you out there yeah our challenge Succeeded. Good job. <laughs> yes. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy our desert adventure. I will link all the locations in the description box. So make sure you check them out later for your next visit to Arizona. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you next week. Bye.